Hello. Hello, hello. We're back. We're going to read more of True Love. A Practice for Awakening the Heart by Thich Nhat Hanh. Last time we read this book, we finished on the chapter Restoring Peace. Peace. Restoring Peace Within Ourselves. And following on from that, comes the chapter, The Energy of Mindfulness. Understanding is the fruit of meditation. When we practice deep looking directed towards the heart of reality, we receive help, we receive understanding. We receive the wisdom that makes us free. If there is a deep pain within you, then meditate. Meditating is not trying to run away. It's not trying to ignore the presence of the pain. But on the contrary, it is looking at it face to face. You have to practice deep looking directed toward the nature of this pain because we are joy but we are also pain we are asked we are understanding but we are also ignorance meditating is not transforming oneself into a battlefield where one side is fighting another where good fights against evil That is not meditation. Meditation is based on the principle of non-duality. This means that if we are mindless, rather, this means... Wait, oh, I thought we almost cut out with the, uh, the, uh, the speaker for a moment. Little baby's up. Indy was on my lap. Let's get back into it. Uh, Meditation is based upon the principle of non-duality. This means that if we are mindfulness, if we are love, then we are also ignorance. We are also suffering. And there is no reason to suppress anything at all. When the seed of anger manifests on the level of our conscious mind, our immediate awareness... Oh, rather, when the seed of anger manifests on the level of our conscious mind, our immediate awareness, that is, the level of our conscious mind... Wait, (laughs) why does this microphone keep looking like... Sorry, sorry. I'm paranoid from the video the other day. This microphone cutting out. When the seed of anger manifests on the level of our conscious mind, our immediate awareness, it is because the seed of anger is in the depths of our consciousness. And then we begin to suffer. Our immediate awareness is something like our living room. The task of the meditator is not to chase away or to suppress the energy of anger that may be there but rather to invite in another energy which will be able to care for the anger. Okay. Inviting in an energy that could care for the anger. I like that a lot. You can use the method of mindful breathing to make the seed of this other energy grow inside of you. It will then manifest in the form of energy and this energy will embrace your life and this energy will embrace your life sorry and this energy will embrace your energy of anger like a mother taking a baby in her arms there is only tenderness there is no fighting with or discriminating against the pain 
The purpose of the practice of mindful breathing is to help to give birth to this precious energy called mindfulness and to keep it alive. We have already spoken of this energy that illuminates us. Mindfulness is like a light, enabling concentration to really be there. And that also makes it possible for us to look deeply into the heart of things. From this looking deeply is born deep vision, understanding. Mindfulness brings concentration, understanding, love and freedom. If you are a Christian, you could say that this energy we are talking about is known as the Holy Spirit, the energy that is sent to us by God. Interesting to hear uh, how that would uh, go into your interpretation of things, Omar, whether that fits. Wherever this energy exists, there is attention, understanding, love, compassion. And this energy has the power to heal. Since Jesus embodies this energy, he has the ability to heal whoever he touches. And when Jesus touches people, he touches them with the energy of the Holy Spirit. It is not touching his clothing that has the power to heal. We could say that when the energy of compassion and love touches us, healing establishes itself. Hmm. The, when the energy of compassion and love touches us, healing establishes itself. In Buddhism, we say that mindfulness is the energy of Buddha. The seed of mindfulness is the baby Buddha that is in us. This precious seed can be buried very deeply under several layers of suffering and ignorance. We, get, we begin by looking for, by touching this seed of mindfulness. And everybody knows that all of us have this precious seed within us. Everybody knows, and everybody should believe, that we have this within us. This precious seed is within all of us. When you drink water, if you are aware of the fact that you are drinking water then this precious seed of mindfulness is there. Mindfulness is the energy that makes it possible for us to be aware of what is happening in the present moment. When you breathe in and you are aware that you are breathing in, mindfulness is there. Mindfulness is always mindfulness of something. When you are angry, and you know that you are angry. Mindfulness is there. Anger is one energy. And mindfulness is another. And this second kind of energy arises in order to care for the first. Like a mother caring for her baby. I think that is an incredible analogy that the mindfulness we can cultivate from that seed which exists within us all is there to grow into a kind of energy that could be there to care for whatever we come whatever experience we come to to feel whether we feel anger whether we feel guilt whatever emotion we feel no matter how viscerally that feels like all we are, if we can be mindful, then that mindfulness with its energy of compassion can care for the self that has fully identified with either anger or pain or whatever that may be and lost its non-dual understanding of itself. And that is how meditation helps us to, meditation helps us come back to that non-dual understanding by Embracing everything we are, not only the anger, but that mindfulness which can care for the anger and hence establish healing within ourselves. But if we're ignorant of our non-dual nature, of our wholeness, 
whole our, our absolute unity with all things then it's it's difficult to establish that that healing the wisdom of that non-dual nature of ourselves is necessary that's that's necessary learning along this path but not just book learning integrating into our being so that we act and perceive by that law that was the end of the chapter on the energy of mindfulness next chapter is called caring for our pain but it's quite a long one and we're already at 10 minutes and um I'm uploading this in less than half an hour. So uh, I think we'll leave it there. I love you guys so much. Next time we'll be reading the chapter, Caring for Our Pain. Which is a good shout out to uh, the opposite of that, Killing Our Pain. Shout out Balto Gucci, uh, who produced Kill the Pain, which is out now. Just came out today. Um, Banger of a track, motherfucker. Go listen to that if you're... Do whatever you want. I don't care. Um, but yeah, next time we're going to read more of True Love, caring for our pain, not killing our pain, not what the song says, the opposite. We're going to care for our pain. Uh, see you then, family. I love you so much. Thank you for listening and learning alongside me. Thank you for existing. Thank you for your very being and everything you do because it's all necessary along the path that we are walking. Everything's in its place. It's just for us to ultimately come to, uh, come to be aware of our position, aware of the position we're in within this reality. Oh, right, we're still recording. Ha! How's that for a uh, a different kind of outro 